Such an inspiration. Thank you so much, Toby Amusan, for putting Nigeria on the map, for giving the world something good to say about Nigeria. Let's get on with the conversation. Our friend, Essie Brume, was listening. Essie has been smiling at some point. She got teary eyes. Let's welcome Essie Brume. Essie won silver in the women's long jump. Essie, good to have you on sports tonight. Thank you for having me. Awesome. I, I see you smiling. At some point, you got <laughs> emotional. What's the feeling to have a friend who is a world <laughs> champion? Oh, Jesus. You know, um, to Toby has been, you know, working really hard, you know, to achieve this success. And um, I've been with her. We've been together in so many competitions, 2019, 2020. Um, she had all the chances, the opportunity, you know, to be on the podium, 2019, 2020. But to be honest, um, um, I would say that that wasn't her time. Mm -hmm. Her time was actually waiting for her, which is now. And I'm so glad that God has crowned her effort has put a smile on her face and not just on her face it has he has put um, i mean a smile on the face of each and every one of us here and a smile on each and every one nigeria back at home we are so happy and grateful for this good deed that god has done for her and for us awesome, awesome. I, I got emotional at some point and when she won that gold did you cry essay <laughs> We shouted for joy. We even forgot that, you know, that we were going going to compete because uh, when she first of all broke the record, we were at the call room, you know, preparing to go out there to compete. And then all of a sudden we saw we saw the world record. It was so amazing. Like we couldn't we lost it at that moment. We lost it, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy this is happening, you know, at a time like this. She said to me, Austin, Essie told me that if I know we now you cause I will because you were <laughs> you were so excited that she got gold. Um let's celebrate you before I hand over to my colleague in Lagos. Um, you got silver, but let's say you've been so so consistent. 2019, you got a bronze. At the Tokyo Olympics, you were on the podium. Now you got another silver medal. What's responsible for this outstanding form that you have, you've been displaying? Um, I'll say that it has been God all the way. It's not by my power, neither is it by my mind. It's not by the, I mean, the works that I've put in. Like what my coach will always say to me, he will always say that um, I win opportunity. I mean, when preparation meets opportunity, then you yeah. achieve greatness. <clears throat> So um, I've been preparing years, but it's not all about my preparation, but um, it has been God all the way. It's been the hands of God all the way, and I'm happy and I'm grateful to God for this, and I hope that um, it keeps getting better and better. All right. Uh, once again, AC, thanks for uh, joining us. This is Yemi from Lagos. Uh, it's good uh, seeing you uh, immediately after exploits in Oregon. Uh, but I'm interested in asking you this because I saw the clips you were referring to. You were preparing for your own race, and you, uh, you uh, at that moment, you were celebrating another Nigerian who has done well. But I want to ask what was going through your mind at that point and you've been in situations like that, also it's talked about it in Doha, uh, in Tokyo, you've been very consistent, celebrating and knowing you had a race. I mean, you had an event to, to, to compete in. H how did you manage uh, to keep your focus on what was in front of you? Um, so the thing is, uh, for me, I'm this kind of person. When I see, you know, when I, 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 I always celebrate those, you know, who have been celebrated and who are meant to be celebrated. Toby is my friend and she has been working really hard for this and we all have been praying for her to get this thing done. And I even said to her that, Toby, if you don't win this medal, if you don't win this um, others, that uh, it's gonna be your fault, Toby. Because we strongly believe that she can do it, she could do it. So at that point in time, when we saw it, we were so I was so overwhelmed. I was so happy. And I had to tap from that grace which God had given to her. And then that, you know, drove me into getting my medal. 
at the World Championship. All right. Okay. Uh, let me also throw this in uh, quickly. At some point, I don't know if you were feeling like that, but for some of us watching, I think uh, the race before the final, uh, before you got that jump that made you qualify, uh, you were in a territory a lot of us were scared about. What was going through uh, your mind before you got that leap that made you qualify? I think for the semis, uh, I mean, what was going through your mind at that point? Because we're looking at the lead with the board. I mean, you hadn't got that jump that would give you an automatic qualification. So all through that period, what was going through your mind? Um, to be honest, at first I was a bit nervous, but then I had to remind myself the purpose why I'm there, the purpose why God you know, took me there, the purpose why he gave me the talent. And I had to remind myself that, come on, essay, you're serving a living God. It is not over until it is over. So I had to take the bull by the horn. And with the motivation from my coach right there, I pushed hard. Why, you know, preparing myself to go into the to go into the wrong way. I, I, I started speaking in tongues, reminding God that this is what we came here for. You have done it for Toby. So I tapped into that grace. And then that was how I went for it. Took out every pressure and every form of negativity. And that was how I went for it and I qualified. All right. Uh, before I yield the floor back to, to my colleague Austin right there in London, uh, let me ask you this. On, on a personal note, why, when you guys landed in uh, Eugene, Oregon, what was your expectation? Now we know you've won silver could have been gold, very close. But what was your expectation before uh, the World Athletics Championship started? Uh, my expectation of the worst, I mean, before it started was that um, I had it in mind to come down here to, you know, climb the podium. It has always been my dream, to be honest. It has always been my dream to be at the middle of the podium. But... Um, um, I won't say unfortunately. Fortunately, it didn't work out the way I want it to be, but I am grateful to God because I am one step, you know, I mean, I'm one step to reaching my goals. Let's say, let's, let's talk about um, the women's long jump final again. You were so close to winning gold, and then Mihambo again came from behind, and she stole it. What are we going to do about this German? <laughs> Um, it is a time and, uh, you know, time and purpose, time and chance happens to us all. It's a time. So I celebrate with her and I strongly believe that when it's my time, um, nothing is going to stop me. That's right. So for now, we we'll celebrate with her so we That's can right. celebrate it later. Yeah. That's good show of sportsmanship. And I see right there giving her a hug and yeah, it's a time. Uh, when it's Estes time, nobody will stop her too. It's the Commonwealth Games of getting ready. Your friend Toby, she's on her way to the airport. When are you going to Birmingham and what should we be expecting from you at the Commonwealth Games? Um, hopefully by the end of the, before the, I mean, before the end of the week, I should be in Birmingham and then uh, hopefully by the grace of God, we'll be putting up, I'll be putting up a better performance. These are the Commonwealth Games. We're looking forward to God, not just me, uh, the rest of the team, they are looking forward, you know, to a better performance, and I'm sure that God is going, going to answer our prayers. Let's say what you are doing, Toby, not just to even Roots, uh, Usoro, Favor, Philly, Rosemary Chukuka, Joy, Dog Gabriel, uh, even Grace Wokocha, you ladies are doing a beautiful job. I would just want to appreciate you. How much inspiration are you passing to younger girls, particularly those who want to get into athletics? Um, I would like to say to them that um, they should know purpose. They should know the purpose why they are doing what they are doing. They should know the purpose why God has given them the talent. They should know the purpose why God actually chose them. It could be any anybody. So when you know purpose, ab abuse will not be... Um, you know, abuse will be inevitable, you know. When you know purpose, success will not be far from you. It will be a lot easier to achieve success. So know purpose so that greatness 
when I did track on you. Awesome, the purpose driven. Essa Brume, uh, Olympic bronze medalist, world silver medalist. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. We appreciate you for everything you're doing for the development of athletics in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you for having me.